This is another demonstration of our protective relay demonstration system. We are going to be focusing today on the Schweitzer 501 overcurrent relay and demonstrating some of its capabilities. To do that, we need a load, something that's going to draw enough current to actually make this relay trip. So over here in this corner is our load. It's a simple shop vacuum cleaner. It draws approximately 6 amps when it's running. And when we start it up, it has about 18 amps worth of inrush current for about three and a half cycles. At least that's according to the record feature on the relay. Now, our CT ratio, our current transformer ratio, is 20 to 5, which is 4 to 1. So when the vacuum cleaner is running at 6 amps draw, it's actually getting about a 1 and a half amps of secondary current to the relay. That's going to be important because we're going to program the relay in secondary amps. Likewise, when it's starting up, we get the 18 amps inrush. That's about 4.5 amps secondary to the relay. So keep those numbers in mind. What we're going to demonstrate here is the instantaneous uh, trip feature of the relay. So we're going to work with parameter 50H. This is the phase instantaneous overcurrent parameter inside the relay. This is the absolute maximum current. If it ever sees anything above that, it just trips the breaker immediately. So to adjust this, we go in here into the set menu. We go into port, uh, I should say relay X. We enter the appropriate passcode, which is 501 according to the model number of the relay by default. And we are going to go down until we see the parameter 50H. So I'm going to step down. 50H, currently is set at 8 amps. I want to select that. I want to change it to a value that is going to be tripped by the vacuum cleaner. Now the vacuum cleaner had an inrush of about 18 amps primary. That's four and a half amps secondary. So I'm going to set my instantaneous overcurrent trip to four amps. That would be 16 amps primary with a four to one CT ratio. I'll move that down to four amps right there and select it. Then I'm going to go down all the way to here and say, yes, I want to save changes. Okay, so at this point, what we're going to do is Zoom out, and I'm going to turn on the vacuum cleaner. What should happen, now this has been set to trip instantaneously, if it sees more than four amps of secondary current, is we're just barely going to hear that vacuum cleaner run. I'll turn the switch on, it will immediately trip, and you'll hear that by the clunk sound of the contactors de-energizing, and of course the vacuum cleaner will cease to run. So here goes our test. There we go. So that was the relay operating pretty much as fast as it could as it saw that instantaneous overcurrent event. It's showing us now we did have a trip event here, instantaneous trip on phase B. The way we're using this particular relay, we are only wired up to phase B. We're using it as a single phase unit as opposed to three phase the way it normally works in the industry. Anyway, that's a demonstration of the instantaneous overcurrent trip of the Schweitzer SEL 501.